Wedding and events and decor is what we love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think yeah. that you should follow us. Because we gonna take our, take our time and help you learn design. Learn design. So ring the bell, because we do it well. Like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to my channel for Web by Mosley, where we take our time, teach you design, and have fun while we're doing it. Um, today, I'm going to do a little bit of vlogging for you guys. I have an intimate wedding setup. Um, it's not going to be a big setup. I'm just doing um, a little bit of decor for the bride, just decorating the fireplace with a lot of candles, greenery, some flowers, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a balloon arch for the bride and groom to be able to take pictures. So I thought it would be fun if I took you guys with me just to give you a little behind the scenes of how a day typically goes when I have an event. You know, some of my videos you might see me all decked out, dressed cute, but when it's an event day, I'm normally in a hoodie, some jeans, um, some sneakers, and ready to just, you know, get the day. Um, get the day, the day going. So anyway, um, I already did my inventory and checked to make sure that I have everything that I need. So a lot of those things I'll show you once we get to the venue. Um, but what I wanted to do right now is just be started on my clusters for the balloon garland. Um, and so I wanted to make sure I did those at home and then um, bag them up and transported them um, to the venue. Now I'm not gonna do the full balloon garland at home because I don't have my truck. Um, Today in order to you know fit them all in there and so I'll have plenty of time that when I get to the site and I'm on location I can blow up the rest of the balloons there so I'll vlog a little bit of that for you as well and then also show you the setup um, if you haven't already and you got this far in the video you might as well go ahead and hit the subscribe button below um, and just make sure you turn your notifications on that way anytime I post a video you will not miss it. Um, and so today, um, when you do your clusters, typically you work with your five inch rooms. Today I have some colors that I'm like really, really excited about. They're so, so pretty. I have this pretty rose gold, this navy blue, some burgundy, and then this is called white, like white sand. It's like a, um, almost like an off white, kind of tan type of color. But yeah, I have those. I'm so I'm like very excited about the color combo today. Um, what I'm gonna do is start blowing these up and get started on my clusters. Um, and then once I have these all blown up, I'll come back and show you how I'm putting the clusters together, okay? that I'm gonna need for today blown up. Um, these ones back here, I've already had a chance to um, tie them together. For these, hey Jamie. For these ones, I'm gonna show you how I tie them together. Hey boo. And so I'm gonna take my 260 balloon, it's a longer balloon. I tie it to one side of my cluster. Hey. Lovely. Then I take cluster and then tie it to the other side and so I'm just going to finish up these rolls gold balloons getting them tied off and then I'll be ready to pack up the car kids can be involved um like you'll see today jace is going to come with me today and be my little assistant he's always my little assistant and jameson uh he's not so much as a help right now and that's because he's you know he's younger he's three so he sees balloons and he's like Urgh. he just wants to like pop them or throw them so i do 
do try to um, get most of my work done when Jameson is taking a nap and out of the way. But you know, as he gets older, I'll be able to take him with me to events as well. And so I like the fact that this is really, um, you know, a job in which I can be around my kids and have fun with my kids. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to continue pursuing, um, continue pursuing event planning. All right, this is my last cluster. Tie one side and then tie the other. Pretty soon, I'm going to do a detailed video on how I do my balloon garland. Um, you know, with step-by-step -step directions. I've learned a lot of things, um, believe it or not, by watching YouTube myself. A lot of tips, a lot of um, tricks. And so I am going to record a detailed video of what I have learned and what I use and what I find to be practical when I'm doing my events. Um, and so, yeah, so I finished my clusters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get these put in a bag um usually you use a big like a big trash bag but um again as i mentioned i don't have my truck today so i'm just going to do some small small little trash bags and fit them in um and then pack the rest of the stuff in the car and then we'll be ready to go Okay guys, so I was able to get the car all packed. As you can see, there's balloons, flowers everywhere. I also have my assistant for today, Jace. Say hello. And we are on our way, but we have to make a few stoppers, Dunkin' Donuts, because we need coffee. And then two, we have to go to Target. I need a few things. Unfortunately, as I said, it's been snowing. And so my package that I needed for today did not come in time. Um, so I'm just going to run to Target to get the things that I need. I just need some fishing line for my balloon garland, some command hooks. Um, what else do I need? Oh, and a lighter. So yeah, so I'm just going to run to Target and then we'll be on our way to the venue. Toy Story, that's later. Okay, so um, my assistant, he doesn't take money, but he takes toys. So I did promise him we would go to the toy store for him assisting me today. So I might vlog a little bit of that. Take money too? <laughs> okay. So we'll see what he wants to get paid, uh, paid with at the end of um, our day today. So let's go. All right, we just got here at Target. We're about to run in really quick and get what we need, but before we go in, let's put our mask on. Here you go, son. Put my mask on. Make sure you guys wear your mask. Yes, please. Wear your mask. It's so important. I have plenty of hand sanitizer. Like, my hands are so, literally, they're so dry because I use so much hand sanitizer. I wash my hands constantly. So yeah, make sure you wear your mask. Um, one of the ways that, um, like when it comes to COVID, coronavirus, and of course the event industry, we have taken a really big hit. But um, one of my policies is that when I do a setup, um, I need to be able to set up at least two to three hours before your event. Um, I require that there is not um, too many people around if I can. So maybe just the person who hired me, um, but I like to just, I want to work alone, um, be able to social distance, set up, get in, get out. And the same thing for when I come to breakdown. Um, I want to do so when there's not a lot of people around so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and head into Target and get what we need. All right, guys. When I got to the venue, I got straight to work on decorating the fireplace. I had some greenery that I placed all along the top of the fireplace and also along the bottom. Next thing I'm gonna do is take some cylinder vases that I have, they're glass vases in different heights, and place those on top of the fireplace. Then I'm going to fill those vases with some ivory pillar candles. 
Next thing I'm doing is taking some light pink roses and I'm going to place them within the greenery wherever I think it will look pretty. I'm going to also place those pink roses at the bottom of the fireplace. I'm going to repeat this step with some red roses that I have and I'm just taking those red roses and placing them in between the pillar candles. They really brought out this look. Last but not least, I'm taking some baby's breath, filling that in as well, making it nice and full, and those were the final results. Next, we're moving on to our balloon garland. Once I figured out where I want to set up my balloon garland, I got straight to work on the balloon arch where my lovely bride and groom will be taking pictures. So here, I'm just blowing up all of my clusters taking those clusters and then turning them into quads. That's four balloons tied together. Once I get all of my balloons blown up, I will begin to form my base for my garland. So I'm just taking some string. Unfortunately, Target did not have the fishing line, but I had some string that I'm using and I'm just tying together all of my clusters. You'll see by the pattern here, I'm just doing a navy, ivory, and burgundy pattern. I was able to use my command hooks to get the garland mounted to the wall, make sure it was nice and secure. Next, I'm going to take those clusters that I made earlier and begin to build out my garland, making it nice and full. I absolutely love how this garland turned out. The last thing I did was add in those rose gold clusters. And here is the final result. My bride loved this garland. It turned out so, so beautiful. Thank you guys for watching this video and coming along with me for today's event. I absolutely love having my wet family with me. So thank you so much. If you haven't already, and you really want to be a part of the web family, you already know what I'm going to say. Go ahead and subscribe below. Hit that subscribe button for me. Turn your post notifications on. Make sure you like this video, comment, and share with a friend. Thank you so much, guys. So ring the bell.